Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Boston Celtics. Here we go. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Duncan is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Curry in at the point. Here's Jordan. The rebound by Johnson. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Chicago. It's a three-point game. Curry on the wing. Fires the three. That shot misses. Johnson with the defensive effort. Jordan against Burke. Over Jordan. That one wide left. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Here's LeBron. It's not going to go for him. Now Boston takes it the other way. Man, he's had three good looks at the basket and nothing to show for it. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. Duncan, and Duncan throws it down hard. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. And so it's Boston with it after the Bulls pick up two. Fades. It's hauled in by Duncan. Well, he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Here's Bird following the basket by Stephen Curry. Over Duncan. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Curry from deep three-point land. A new 14 for the Bulls. And that one, good. Duncan's got his second bucket. Well, Duncan had time as the ball was swinging around on the perimeter to set himself up for the J. He's got room to shoot. He's going to make the defense look foolish. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldrin. Thanks, Kevin. I spoke with the Celtics head coach a little bit ago. Coach said they have to concentrate on Steph Curry's outside game, but there's more to it than that. He said, we know what kind of shooter he is, but we can't get caught up guarding him 35 feet out. We'll live with some of those threes before we let him beat us with penetration. So, Kevin, if Curry wants to show off his deep long-range game, he may have a chance. Back to you. Thank you, David. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Pass to Duncan. And Duncan throws it down hard. A vision by LeBron, always willing to give up the ball. They're just hitting a wide-open teammate. Johnson, the pass to McHale. Parrish up top. Celtics passing it around. Johnson dishes to Ainge. Six to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. It's up a three. Chicago grabs the miss. Outside Curry. No good on the three. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Johnson kicks to Ainge. Back to Johnson. Bird outside. A 
pass to Ainge. Moves back up. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, and in every generation or so, a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar. Folks, that's Larry Bird. The Celtics shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. A big fella with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. You don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Jordan on the wing. He's guarded by McHale. Stolen by Ainge. Well, a little head scratcher there, guys. There's no reason to force the ball inside like that. I understand the thought process, but uh, the pass just has to be better. It, it's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the quarter. And just Shakespearean there. A smart read. Saw the defense was collapsing inside, so he wisely pulled up from the outside and drilled it. Now here's Johnson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pocket six. It's stolen by Duncan. All alone. And then Jordan slams it in. Oh, my goodness. The, the creativity, the athleticism of Michael Jordan. Johnson down low. Curry meets him. Johnson's shot is off. Here's Chicago. They're on a 13 to 4 run. And a wide open look for Jordan. Here's Duncan. That's tipped. Stolen by Ainge. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Johnson outside. Bird with it. Back to Johnson. Bird against Jordan. On deep. And it's Bird missing. And here's Curry who brings it up for Chicago. Six-point lead. Yeah, that's just working for the better shot. We always talk about in the NBA, good to great, great possession there. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. So it's Boston now, trailing here by eight to end the run. Here's McHale, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The Celtics have gone three for three at the line tonight. Kevin McHale at the run for two.
shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And McHale drops them both. Chicago with the ball. Six-point game. Down low. Here's O'Neal. And Shaq with the slam. O'Neal is a force of nature. Once he gets it that low, it is a foregone conclusion. Now here's Johnson. No points in the game yet for him. And stolen by Jordan. And again, Chicago running the court in transition. Here's LeBron. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Johnson outside. Passes it to Parrish. Ainge with the ball. Guarded by Jordan. Pass to McHale. Shot clock at six. Plays it up and banks it in. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. The Bulls leading by eight. Pass to Jordan. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Danny Ainge. As if Jordan weren't challenging enough to guard. Uh, the little up fake there, putting the defender at his mercy. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Dalton's checked in for Parrish. Redmond comes in for Larry Burke. And it's Easting in for Danny Ainge. And so Jordan nails both of them. Celtics trail by 10. Seasting passes to Wedman. Here is Seasting. And the pass to McHale. Six on the shot clock. Dishes it to Johnson. Over Jordan. Johnson can't hit. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart, the other one playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. With some arc, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They get Stephen Curry. For Boston, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Boston making a switch here. Vincent's checked in. And a change for the Bulls. Ryan is checked in for Steph Curry. Good on both. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. It's Jordan on the win, and he's going up for the alley oop and the dunk by O'Neal. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Now, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. And here's Jordan outside. They get it back. And the dunk by O'Neal. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Now here's McKeel. Seven points in the game. Here's Wedman. To the paint. And McHale gets it to go. McHale's got nine points. 
Well, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Here's James and the dunk by LeBron. Just can't say enough about what LeBron James can do on the floor. That time with the handle, terrific at moving the defense around. Here is Seasting. Passes it to Wedman. That one doesn't drop. Jordan with some nice D. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Great positioning on the putback. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Here is Seasting, defended by Bryant. Redman the pass to Seasting. Pass to McHale over Scott. No good from McHale. The Bulls leading by 16. No one near James as he lets it go. No good on the triple. James has gone two of five from the floor. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Here's Jordan. Another one falls for Chicago. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Here is Seasting. The feed to Walt. Pass to Wedman. Here's Vincent. From deep. That shot off, so the Bulls will take it the other way. On the wing, Bryant. The three, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got three assists in the game. One ten left here in the first quarter. Here is Seasting. And there's the pass to Vincent. Trying to end the drought. O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Jordan. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Jordan's got 15 points. What well, a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Vincent. McHale with it. Pass to Wedman. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. And so James will bring it up for Chicago. Outside Jordan. Right side Scott. Back to Jordan. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. O'Neal controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. Here's Seasting. And so it's the Chicago Bulls in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. Back to the action at... And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the Bulls guys have been rolling right along, haven't they? Well, pounding the boards is one way to gain an advantage. They simply owned the glass in that first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. Here's Vincent. Vincent is out there with Seasting. Then there's Wedman. Then there's Kevin McHale. And it's Walton in at the five. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Vincent the pass to Walton. Just five on the clock. Nice ball movement by Boston. Shot from the top of the key. 
kept alive by Boston. Mikhail, that's good. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Here's Jordan. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. Jordan's got 17. And what you like there, Jordan never looks like he's rushing. Makes quick, solid decisions. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. And there's the whistle, three-second three violation. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Robert Parrish has checked in for Walton. Bird comes in for Wedman. And Danny Ainge has subbed in for C Sting. And Chicago also making a switch. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for Scott. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Well, the Bulls have a new front office, branching out from the Nuggets Brain Trust with new team president. Given Denver's success identifying and developing young talent, with a win percentage that's climbed year after year, there is at least some optimism that the Bulls will be able to build a similar and sustainable winning program. Guys? Wouldn't that be a story? Thank you, David. LeBron dishes to Jordan. Shoots over Ainge. The shot will not fall. And the Celtics going the other way now. And again, it's Boston converting. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Bryant looking over the floor, and it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, and right there, you see how quickly MJ gets into the air. Yet another one of his natural gifts. McHale outside. Pass to Vincent. There's the pass to Bird. McHale kicks to Bird. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Just such great consistency on that jump shot. Even though he's not always squared up, Bird terrific in the catch and shoot game. Passes it to LeBron. A three pointer, no good. Celtics trail by 19. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, the defender all over him. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Larry Bird. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Johnson. He's checked in for Boston. And Chicago also making a switch. Curry's checked in. Bird hits them both. And here is James. Pass to Kirk. To the inside. And Duncan throws it down. And that's a slam dunk from the big fundamental. You don't want to get in the way when he's throwing it down. Pass to Ainge. McHale inside. Reed covering. No good from McHale. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to They're put coming. this one away. Johnson surveying the floor. Six to shoot, and stolen by James. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. And finished off by LeBron. LeBron James out, sprinting up the floor. His 16th season, still getting after it. Up top, Bird. Back to Johnson. 
from about 19 feet to the middle. Bird kicks to Johnson. Here's McHale. That's tipped. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. No good from Jordan. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Boston Celtics. Now the pass to Bird. Shoots. And it's off the back rim. No good. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Nice to see LeBron have a straight line drive. Somebody fell asleep there. McHale up top. Johnson outside. Passes to Bird. McHale outside. That's his first personal foul. Bird outside. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Here's Curry. Rebounded by the Celtics. Parrish has got four rebounds in this game. Curry with the steal. And here we go, the Bulls fast break. James with the ball. Here's the Celtics with the ball. Johnson inside. Read on him. Johnson, the pass to McHale. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No question, he got bumped on that shot. He is three for three from the free throw line. Two shots. And that one falls for McHale. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Chicago with the ball. LeBron kicks to Reed. Pass to Jordan. And the rejection by Parrish. Bird outside. He dishes it to Johnson. The kick out to Ainge. Got a piece of it. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Shaq's checked in for Reed. Now a timeout called by Boston. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it and make the adjustment. Shot clock at six. Bird outside. Shoots the three. Boston, no good that time either. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Pass to Ainge. Curry against Johnson. Bird outside. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. 
Burge got eight points. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Here's James. O'Neal trying to break free. Wow, LeBron on the roll. This time, rocks it. Johnson outside. The pass to McHale. Over Duncan. McHale misses. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. Robert Parrish picks one up there. More fundamental footwork from Timmy there. So good at getting baskets over even good defense. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Redmond's checked in for the Celtics. Seasting comes in for Ainge. Yeah, during the early stretches of Tim Duncan's career, the free throw line was a bit of a weakness for him. He's recovered from that quite consistent over the past few years. Bird, the pass to Seasting. Passes it to Johnson. Here's Bird on the mark with the 15-footer. Bird's got eight points here in this quarter. Yeah, you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. It's Curry outside. They grab their own miss, and the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Bulls shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Here is Seasting. He kicks to Johnson. Over to the wing. Just five to shoot. Here's Seasting. And Jordan sends it back. And one of the league's most effective Ooh. shot blockers from that guard position. Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. Chicago making a switch here. Scott's checked in. Now here's Curry. There's the dish to Duncan. Kicks to O'Neal. They double team Curry. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. The offensive rebound. That's blocked by Bird. Goes up again. Here's Shaq. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Shaq's got 12. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Pass to Wedman. Here is Z-Sting. From the baseline, the shot goes in. First of the night, he's one for three to start the game. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper, just not really closing out as much as they need to. Jordan, the pass to O'Neal, throws down the alley-oop slam. And how about the reach of O'Neal there? A huge target for his teammates on these alley-oops. Bird outside. It's blocked by Shaq. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Here's Duncan. O'Neal trying to break free. And Duncan gets it to go in. Duncan's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And the Celtics with possession here. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Seasting. Scott pulls it in. Smooth sailing for Chicago. Here's Duncan. 
but he recovers it. And they get it back again. I mean, how many rebounds offensively have they had? Everything's going right for them today. 129 left in the first half. They double team Bird. Five to shoot. Here is Seasting, guarded by Kirk. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Scott dishes to O'Neal. Count it, and he's now eight of nine from the floor. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here is Seasting. A floater, and it's Chicago with the rebound. Duncan's got rebound number 13 with that last one. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Uh, Curry doing a great job there with the pass. Of course, you're, you're worried about the shot all the time, but a nice setup from Steph. Johnson outside. Pass to Walton. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Shaq. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for Boston, Bill Walton. And he makes the first. Chicago making a switch here. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Curry. The pass to Scott. Here's the three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. And so it's Chicago going to the break, holding an enormous 36-point lead. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with it. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of... When you think of the Bulls, Kenny... Hard not to go back to six titles, even though the last one. And that does it for our. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Bulls. O'Neal is out there with Duncan. Then it's Michael Jordan. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's James in at the small forward. They get it back. Duncan, good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. Well, if you don't box out the big fundamental, you're going to have a fundamental problem. And the Celtics with possession here. Johnson, the pass to McHale. Back to Johnson. it to Bird. Back to Johnson. Pocket six. That shot, no good. Curry with some nice D. It's three on three on the fast break. Jordan with it. And it's McHale picking him up. And the dunk by LeBron. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition. And that helps get the rhythm going. Here's Jordan. Rebound, Boston. Well, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. 
on the wing, Burke, defended by Shen. And McHale gets double teamed. Bird against Shaquille O'Neal. Offensive rebound. McHale, that's good. Yes, they one drops after the 0 of 3 start. Pass to Duncan. Here's Jordan, Bird covering. Back to Duncan. Takes a shot at the elbow. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Ainge. Now here's McKeel. Back to Ainge. And there's the pass to Johnson. The Celtics working the ball around now. And stolen by James. Here's Curry. Finish off the break. Curry's got his second bucket of the game to go. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Pass to Ainge. Wants to get it to Duncan and does. And another fast break for Chicago. Bulls running. A good look from James. The Bulls keep it alive. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. McHale outside. Six to shoot. Back to Johnson. He kicks it to Ainge. There's the triple. And Shaq pulls it down. Shaq's team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Bird outside. Tipped away. It's stolen by Duncan. Jumps up. And the dunk by Duncan. And as long as Duncan continues to hit shots like that, you're going to feed the big fellow. One of the most dominant players ever. Johnson dishes to Bird. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. At the line for two. Two. Free throw good, Bird. Reed is checked in for the Bulls. Bryant comes in for Michael Jordan. So one for two that time at the stripe. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. A, a pretty simple solution to ending this run. It would just be getting back and actually playing some defense. Pass to McHale. Over Reed. Boston again missing. Parrish against Curry. Pass to James. The 10 footer. No good that time. And it's Boston the other way. Here's Ainge, and it's denied. Here we go, James heading to the hoop. And the dunk by LeBron. Well, we wasted absolutely no time getting the ball up the floor. Great instincts in transition. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Ainge. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Ainge has got six points. 
of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. And here's James outside. Up again. It's good on the putback. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Johnson outside. Feeds it to Bird. Tim Duncan grabs the miss. Here's Chicago. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated leagues the last few years. Think about the explosion in popularity of the WNBA, the Basketball Africa League, expansion of the 2K League, greater pay in the WNBA, and the G League pathway, along with the unionization of G League players. The league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Here's Johnson. Boston again missing. And so here is Chicago. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Johnson outside. Five on the clock, and the pass to Bird. And Steph Curry with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And a new group in for the Celtics. Walton's checked in for McHale. Wedman comes in for Bird. Seasting, he's checked in for Ainge. And Vincent subbed in for Dennis Johnson. And Chicago also making a switch. Scott's checked in. So it's Boston now. He doesn't usually fire from out there. Seasting's got seven points in the game. So it's Chicago now. Outside Bryant. Curry with a wide open look. That's in coming off an assist from Bryant. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Here's Vincent. Passes it to Wedman. That one misses. James with some nice D. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. The shot by Curry. No good. Here's Wedman. Guarded by Curry. The nine-foot shot. A shot's good by Wedman. And here are the Bulls now. And Bryant kicks to Reed. Inside, it's stolen. Here's Vincent. Pass to Walt. Over Reed, and it comes off the front of the rim. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Vincent, the pass to Wedman. Here's Vincent. Pass to Parrish. The jump hook. Yes, that goes in. Parrish has got his first points of the game. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Bryant passes to Curry. Now James. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. James has got 24 points. Here's Vincent. The pass to Wedman. Over LeBron. And James pulls it down. James has got rebound number eight now on the night. Bryant has the open look. 
offensive rebound with the second effort. And LeBron with the nice bucket inside. LeBron's got 12 now in this quarter. Here's Vincent. We've got 155 left in the third. Unloads. Edmund can't get it to go. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Parrish, and he uses the glass on the layup. Parrish has got his second basket of the game. And say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Reed, and he comes up with the deuce. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. Yeah, this team did something at halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. Redmond can't get it to go. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Here's Vincent, guarded by Kirk. Poked away. Seasting passes to Parrish. Shot clock at five. Passes it to Vincent. Launches a three. Rebound by the Bulls. James has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by LeBron. Curry's got 23. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Here's Vincent. Boston, no good that time either. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Chicago. He was a true standout at the offensive end, both with his scoring and his passing. Right back after this break. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Alton is out there with Jones. Then there's Brown. Then it's Williams. And it's Vincent in at the two spot. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Here's Scott. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Now Brown. Pass to Vincent. Tries it from 19. And it's Chicago with the rebound. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Austin with the ball. Pass to Vincent. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Williams passes to Walton. Shoots over Scott. And it's Walton missing. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Bulls. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. He was all alone on that one. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. It's Brown on the wing, defended by Bryant. There's the pass to Vincent. Jones with it. From 11 feet away, again the miss by the Celtics. 
the drive by. Oh, Woo! yes, sir. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Here's Vincent. The shot's good. Brown making the play. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Outside Jordan to the middle. Here's Shaq. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. O'Neal's got 22. And O'Neal just a brute on the block. Simply overpowers the opposition. Brown outside. Here's Williams. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's on LeBron James. At the line, your Celtics. David Williams taking two shots. Two shots. The last on the first. And he knocks down the first one. Celtics making a switch here. Smith has checked in. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for Chicago. He's perfect from the line this time. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And Jordan has it in the corner. Kept alive. And O'Neal gets it to go. 24 points for him. And it takes a lot to knock O'Neal off balance. A massive player who just fins off the D with ease. To the left side wing. Williams against James. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Bryant's shot is good. Well, as much scoring as Jordan does, the only thing he really cares about is that the team wins. Jordan against Brown. Pope loose and stolen by Jordan by himself and Jordan slams it in a good job here Jordan getting him in transition and he does so much you almost forget how dominant he can be defensively and Tim Duncan gets the whistle that time that's foul number two for him Williams with the ball. And here's Jones. Pass to Vincent. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot. High post. And really, after that strong first half, he has been in quite the tailspin. James finds Jordan. The layup missed. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Vincent. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Shaq. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Shooting for Boston. Sam Vincent. Two shots. Two. Two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And it's the Bulls with the ball. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. 
And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And Chicago has possession. On the wing, Bryant. Shot clock at five. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And the shot goes in. O'Neal's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. At the top of the key, Williams. Pass to Vincent. From about 19 feet, rebound by the Bulls. Duncan's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Jordan dishes to Duncan. It's Chicago with another bucket. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. A defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Here's Vincent, defended by Bryant. Vincent, the pass to Jones. Williams kicks to Smith. Jones dishes to Brown. Again, the miss by the Celtics. James with it. Now Smith defending. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Now the pass to Vincent. Passes to Brown. Launches it. It's hauled in by LeBron. James has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. And Bryant gets it to go. And you can see now they're starting to push the tempo to good effect. Here's Vincent, guarded by Jordan. Vincent, the pass to Jones. Smith kicks to Brown. Here's Vincent. Over Jordan, and it's blocked by Jordan. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some play. Oh, oh, too finish. much. Too Ooh. much at that. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Here's Vincent, guarded by Jordan. To stop the run, Vincent misses. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. And how about O'Neal zipping passes over to his guys, using that height to find open teammates? Pass to Vincent from about 16. Good on the jump shot. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. The feed to O'Neal and Shaq with the slam. Oh, you got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Brian against Brown. Pass to Vincent from 17 feet out. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Oof, rough game offensively. He's really struggled it, and really probably why they're trailing. Here's Vincent. Outside, Jones. Smith, the pass to Brown. Releases. No good. Shot missing. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. And here's James outside. And the Bulls, another three. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And it's Smith missing. 
And so here is Chicago. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter and the dunk by O'Neal. And that's the unselfish play of Tim Duncan. Without much effort, he finds his open teammate for a good look and the bucket. Here's Vincent. Celtics passing it around. The pass to Williams. Kicks it to Smith. Here's Vincent, guarded by Jordan. Will it go? Vincent misses. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Down low. Here's O'Neal. And Jones pulls it down. And here's Boston. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Brown against Bryant. Brown the pass to Vincent. Over Jordan, and it's blocked by Jordan. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Welcome's checked in for the Celtics. Chicago also making some changes. Scotty's checked in for O'Neal. Reed comes in for Tim Duncan. And Stephen Curry subbed in for LeBron. 124 left in the fourth quarter. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. One twenty-four left in the fourth. Brown outside. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Now here's Curry. He feeds it to Scott. And finished off by Scott. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Shooting for Boston, John Brown. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And Brown drops them both. Now Bryant passes it to Reed. Back to Bryant. Williams against Curry to the paint. Here's Bryant. Some solid defense from Brown. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Bryant against Smith. Outside Bryant. So Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.